New details have emerged in connection with the woman from the American Airlines flight who claimed that one person was not real. It is claimed that the woman was talking to a man wearing a green hoodie and he was staring at her in a really weird way. Maybe that's why she freaked out. Listen to the testimony of this witness. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel 24-7 TV. That motherfucker! That motherfucker back there is not real! Okay, here's the story time for you. I'm gonna try- I've tried like two times to record this, but I keep going over the three minute limit and I don't want to do a part one, part two type thing, so I'm gonna try to be specific. I was on that flight. It was American Airlines. We were leaving Dallas-Fort Worth. I was sitting in the left aisle, about three rows back from this woman. She was sitting in the right aisle, and she had this very interesting exchange with some dude in a hoodie. I don't remember the color of the hoodie. I, I really, you know how memory is. When you're not super paying attention, you don't remember all the details. I had one headphone in, couldn't hear all the specifics of what happened, but I noticed this exchange between this woman and this dude in a hoodie. And it was kind of weird at the time because it seemed like no one else before she really started getting frantic, like was paying attention to this, but that makes sense. It was like a normal flight. This was after putting all the luggage away. We'd been on the plane for a little bit. It was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little spiel. And what I remember is she ha was having like a full blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie. I'll call him the hoodie guy. She was having a full blown conversation with hoodie guy. The weird thing was that he never once said a fucking word to her the whole time. And at the time I, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it, but it was like she it's like she would say something and he like would respond, but there was no exchange happening. It was just her getting more and more frantic, which, OK, if she's drunk and she's going crazy, then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? But he was just like dead locked on her, like deep eye contact with her, like like. I don't want to feed into the conspiracies here, but like like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing. And. She started getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing. Flight attendant came over, tried to calm her down, like, what's going on? She sat back down, but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie, and finally she was, like, done with it. And that's, like, when I really started paying attention, like, okay, what the fuck is going on? And that's when she was like, I'm ca I can't do this. She started getting up. She started walking up to the front. And then the whole video thing happened. I didn't take a video of it. I was listening to a Stephen King audiobook. I wasn't, like, pulling out my phone to record this. And she didn't seem drunk to me, by the way. Just throwing that out there. She, I, didn't, I didn't see her drink. I mean, she, didn't, she seemed totally normal to me up until that point. The weird thing was after she left the plane, the dude in the hoodie, which the flight attendant was like, did anything happen? And he still didn't say a word. He just went like and like shrugged. The dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane and he looked back at me and he winked at me. And again, I didn't quite register it. I was like, okay, what the fuck was that about? I was like, maybe he's just being like, an ass like winking like that was weird wasn't it but now that i look back i realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me it didn't wink like this it winked like this and i didn't even register